Can you imagine living in just a space about the size of a normal dining room? If you want to check that out for yourself, Kyle Granger shows us some tiny homes that are open for you to tour. Well, welcome to the kitchen of your new tiny home. We even have a kitchen sink, a stove, a microwave, all right here in the kitchen area. Meanwhile, on the other side of the house, your living area. And this particular area actually converts into the dining area. Yes, this is a tiny house and the tiny home roadshow going on right now in Sevierville. And here to tell us more about what's going on right now is Scott Geist to talk about this tiny home that we are in. It's kind of amazing how much you fit into this uh, tiny little space. Thank you. Uh, it was a lot of planning. Uh, whenever you build tiny houses, you are very limited with your space. And so the more that we can fit in, the more people enjoy. I was just going to say, does it take a neat person to live in this? Because if you're going to pull the table out, you obviously don't have that space to you know, lay bills on and all that stuff you bring home from the grocery store or whatever. Right. Uh, it does take a change of mind to get into a tiny house. Uh, we have seen people that think they're ready for a tiny house, and they find out that they're not. Um, you do have to basically get rid of everything you're holding on to as you're growing up and go, I am ready to go minimalistic. And how much does this cost compared to a you know, normal house? With this particular unit, we sold for 65000 Wow. So uh, I can kind of save some money, I guess, maybe save on power, electricity, all those things. I heard you talking about the, uh, the uh, hot water heater as well. Yes, we have a tankless hot water heater. Uh, yes, there is a big savings when it comes to uh, your original buy-in, plus your, your cost of living goes way down as far as your water and electric. Uh, you do use a lot less on something this size. We appreciate your time for joining us here. And, of course, we'll be talking all about this on localatenow.com with all the information that you need in order to come out and see all of this for yourself. Reporting in Sevierville, Kyle Granger, Local 8 News. Always tracking. Always alerting. Local 8 weather. And welcome to Saturday. Hope you're having a great day. It just absolutely is amazing to see what can be packed into those tiny little homes again, about the size of maybe the average dining room or bedroom, and they've packed the entire house in there. Uh, really nice to see if you have a chance to head out and see that in Sevierville this weekend. Right now, the Great Smoky Mountains, really cloudy, really foggy, really nasty up at Look Rock. As the sun's trying to come up, we're trying to get our first glimpse of daylight this morning, but the rain is out there. You can see that on the rain and cloud track right now, but that really is where it's happening at because you get to the west of Knoxville and we're going to be seeing sunshine for the morning hours. These are showers rotating around Hurricane Matthew, but nothing like they're seeing along the Carolina coast. In fact, much of these are going to be on the light side, but can't rule out little gusty conditions for the afternoon. Here is Matthew. At this hour, you can see that we're talking about uh, some heavy rain bands working their way onshore near the Charleston area. Upwards of a foot of rain for parts of the Myrtle Beach area associated with this. Of course, they are wet dealing with this, and the coastline is getting pounded. Let's take a live look in Myrtle Beach right now where you can see uh, the shore coming, uh, getting pounded, the waves crashing, storm surge going to be an issue with this storm. Of course, the hurricane force winds extend extend out about 45 miles outside of the center of circulation. Tropical storm force winds at about 185 miles out from the center. Again, a live look. That's the boardwalk area if you have been to Myrtle Beach recently and seen the new boardwalk. Here's the gusts that we have been seeing over the last little while. 87 mile per hour gusts for Hilton Head, 41 in Charleston, 39 for Georgetown. A rough day in the Carolinas, but for us, ultimately, it will be a pretty nice afternoon with high temperatures near 75.